Hello and welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't recorded anything in like a few years. <laughs> and the reason being is because I hate recording myself. I just hate it. Um, but I really wanted to make this video because I, um, it's about the bite aligners. And I wanted to make the video because I myself am using bite. And I was looking on YouTube for some videos to see if anyone else was experiencing what I was experiencing. And I honestly didn't see one. Excuse me. <laughs> I didn't see one um, that was like saying the same thing that I'm going to say. So this is my bite video. So backstory, I had braces when I was like a teenager, like in, um, I believe in like eighth grade to high school. Sorry, let me adjust this. I don't know what's happening with my lighting and my camera. I'm not always this pale looking. So just if you know me in person and you're like, yes, you are, shut up. <laughs> no. Um, anyway, when I was in uh, junior high or I believe junior high or like freshman in high school, I got braces um, because my teeth were really bad. And I mean like really bad. Like I had a huge gap and a overbite that was just ridiculous. And my parents, you know, took me to get braces. I had them for like two years and it was bad. I mean, like I had to wear the headgear. And I know like they've shown on TV when people wear the headgear. I didn't have to wear it in public, but I did have to wear it at night. Um, but at the end of those two years, my teeth were great. They were perfect. They were straight. They were where they're supposed to be. It was great. Um, and I had a retainer. Um, and thank God, luckily for me, I got to have my braces off before I took my senior pictures. So, um, so yeah. But anyway, I had a retainer and I had the retainer for maybe five years. Maybe. I don't even know if it was that long. I feel like it was about five years. And I remember the last time I had it, <laughs> um, I was like house sitting and I was hungry, so I went to get some Burger King. <laughs> and I go to Burger King and I got my food because I was just, the inner fat girl was just dying for a Whopper or whatever it was that I got. Um, and I took my retainer off so I could eat this food. And sometimes I'm forgetful and I ended up throwing my retainer in the trash. Ugh, huge fail. And by the time I realized that it had been thrown in the trash, it was already past, like, trash day when they'd come and collected all the trash. So there was nothing I could do. So I was like, you know, you know, whatever. It's not a big deal. You know, your teeth can't move that much, right? Well, um, flash forward to now, which is like 20-something years later. Um, my teeth have been really bad. Uh, I had a huge gap, again, not as huge as it was prior to braces, but I still have a gap. You could see, I don't know if you could see, but because it's lighting. But um, I have a gap, and I had a really bad overbite. And I had been seeing when, uh, maybe a few years ago, I was thinking about going to, like, get the Invisalign, I think it was called. I don't remember. Um, but I couldn't afford it at that time, so, again, years passed. But I've always wanted to get my teeth back to being straight again because I like it. Um, and then I started seeing the commercials for Bite. And I was like, I wonder, you know, what it would be like to do that. And I didn't, it took me a while to actually, you know, make the commitment to doing Bite. Um, so it was actually during this whole coronavirus and, you know, I'm sitting at home and I have nothing else to do with my money. So I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to invest in myself and I'm going to do bite. Um, so I did the initial order for, you know, when they take the, the, the molding of your teeth and I got a discount on it when I did it. So always look, they have discounts all the time. I see them now. Um, but I got a discount because it was like some offer that they were doing. I, I don't remember exactly what it was and I apologize, but, um, I did the discount offer and the moldings came really quick. It was really quick. And I was so excited because I'm like, I'm so ready to start this journey of getting my teeth straight again. Um, so I 
did the moldings and I sent them back in, um, maybe like not even maybe like a day after I got the moldings, it didn't. And it took maybe about two days for me to get the, the molding. Um, so I sent it back in and they make you take all these pictures and stuff and you post it to like a website. And so I did all of that stuff and I sent it back in. Um, then I got the notification, you know, that they received it and that it was going to be a couple weeks for me to get my aligners back. Um, so I was like, okay, cool, you know, whatever. It took about, I want to say it was like six weeks before I got my aligners. Um, and when it started getting closer, because I, I did the, the billing where like, you know, every, on a certain day I get billed for my aligners. So, um, when it started getting closer to me being billed for something that I didn't have, I was starting to get a little like frustrated. So I contacted Byte and was like, I don't have my aligners and like, I'm about to be billed for, um, you know, for having aligners that I don't have. And I was like, you know, I don't have a problem paying with for them, but I don't want to be paying when I have nothing to pay for. And what if I pay and they still don't come for like a couple of weeks? They were saying that it was because of the coronavirus. Um, but I'm like, when I got the moldings, it came instantly, which I understand they have to, you know, do a lot of dental work and stuff, but it, it is what it is. I was just a little perturbed by that, but I finally got my, um, aligners and they came in a box that looks like this. It looks blurry on my screen. I hope it's not blurry on yours, but bite. Um, so it comes like this and you open it up and it has all of the aligners for however long your um, program is. All of the aligners are inside. And you just every Saturday night, I think it's Saturday night. I've been doing it on Saturday night, so hopefully that's right. Every Saturday night, you change out your aligners to the next pair. So I was so, so, so excited. Let me turn off one of these lights because I feel like I'm like super yellow. No, that doesn't work. Okay, let's just turn it down. Okay, that's a little better. Uh, but I was so, 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 so excited about getting my freaking aligners. So, um, that Saturday night, and I think I got them on a Saturday. So that was like perfect. Um, I like, you know, did what I had to do. And I, I read the books, the book that comes with it is like, is like, um, you can see yourself in it. It's really cute. I meant to bring that in here, but I forgot. Sorry. Um, but it has all the instructions for like what you're supposed to do. Um, it also comes with a case to hold your aligners in almost like a retainer case that you can carry around. So when you have to take them out to eat, um, and there's also, um, an extractor, we'll get to that later too. Um, and there's also like a foam that you put in the aligner that you put in the aligner before you put it on your teeth, because that is like a teeth whitener and it's a cleaner for the aligners. We'll get to that too. Okay. So I put the first aligners on. And I thought that I was going to die. <laughs> it was so painful. It was so painful. More than getting braces on, painful. It was so painful. And I consider myself to be one of those people that have a really high pain threshold. Um, but this was painful. It hurt. Um, and I think I cried because it hurt so bad. Um, but, and after a struggle, because it was a struggle to get them on, I got them on. It took me maybe, I want to say maybe 15 minutes because it hurt so bad to put them on. Um, and you know, you're supposed to take them off when you eat and all of that stuff. So I got them on, cried, you know, went to sleep. Um, the next day I took them off in the morning so I could eat breakfast and I was like dreading 
having to put them back on because it was so painful. Um, so I, but I did, I brushed my teeth and I put them back on. It took another 15 minutes. It was painful. And then I realized that there's like a part of them and I'll show you the aligners in a second, but there actually, I have the first one. I can show you. This is like, I keep, you keep all of the old aligners in their old week bag. So this is the first one. I don't know. Let me see. Maybe you could say it better like that. Yeah. I guess. Um, so that's the first one. Um, I, it was like longer in the back and higher in the front. They also send you a little file. So I started to file it down because what I realized is that when I was taking them off and putting them back on to eat, um, and you have to brush your teeth before you put them back on, I had so much blood. Like there was so much blood, it was concerning. Um, and I'm like spitting out blood on the top of my mouth. It was, I guess, getting rubbed by the aligners. And there was like welts in my mouth. It was just, it was awful, awful, awful. So I, I um, used the nail file and I filed them down um, and, you know, put them back in. This was on the second day. <laughs> I put them back in and, you know, was in so much pain. My friend was watching me put them in and she was like, I am not getting bite because I'm watching you like crying, <laughs> like trying to put an aligner in. And I was like, but it's so worth it. <laughs> Blood's just dripping down my mouth. Um, but I filed them down and I wrote to bite and I said, all of the books, everywhere I look, everyone's saying there's a slight discomfort. And I was like, that is a lie. The lie detector test determined that is a lie. It was not discomfort. It was like someone was kicking me in my mouth with steel-toed boots. Like, ri ridiculous pain. And like I said, I have a high threshold. Um, and they were like, you know, someone will get back to you. I'm still waiting for someone to get back to me, FYI. But, um, but I filed them down and I put them in and I decided that time that I was not going to take them out anymore. <laughs> so I started, you're not supposed to eat or drink with them in, but I was in so much pain that I did not care. So I was just eating with the aligners in all day. Like I would keep them in all day. I would chew with like the back teeth where there was no aligner or I would just swallow the food, like try to get it down as small as I could and then just swallow it. Um, because I was like, I don't wanna go through this pain of taking these things off and putting them back on. It was just the worst. Um, then I decided, you know, well, I had to take them off to brush my teeth. Um, I couldn't go all day with the liners in. So I would take them off, cry, you know, I'd brush my teeth and then I, I would put peroxide in my mouth to, to help with like the sores and stuff. And then I would get Ambisol, I believe that's what it's called. And I would put it on my gums, like all on the top and all in the back of my mouth, um, and then put the aligner back in. And that, it helped a little because it numbed my gums and I would just feel the, more of the tightness. I still felt a little bit of the pain, but it wasn't to the point where I was crying. Um, so I would feel like the tightness or whatever and and then I, you know, just go about my business. And um, so that was the first week. Then it was time to switch the aligner. And I was terrified because I was like, if it hurt this much for this aligner, like I, God only knows what's about to happen with this second one. So the Saturday night came and I put the bottom one, went in fine. Like no pain, no issue. It just was like and snapped right in place. The top one, I had to struggle with a little. And I think it hurt maybe the first time, maybe the first two or three times. Um, and then it stopped hurting. So now I'm on week three and these are my week three aligners. They've been sitting here like next to me. And I'll show you, put the bottom ones in. See, the bottom goes in fine. Um, these are my top ones. 
they are a little bit harder to get in. Again, this is week three. So I would say by the time I got to the middle of week two, so like maybe Wednesday, um, I was popping them in and taking them out like it was nothing. It wasn't like a big deal to me anymore. I don't, don't use Ambisol now. Like I said, I'm on week three. This is today is Monday. So I switched them into the week three ones on Saturday. And I've been popping them like now I don't eat with them anymore because <laughs> it's not so not so painful. So it might just be a thing that you have to get used to. Um, but like I said, the bottom are easier. The top is not as easy, but it's I just don't want to do it on here because sometimes I drool and I don't want to drool on camera. <laughs> um, but because I have to you put them in the front first and obviously your teeth are moving. So I like have to stick my thumbs in there and like snap the back part in and I just don't want to do that on camera, but they do pop in. It takes me like literally maybe two minutes. Like I brush my teeth, I put the foam in there and, you know, put my finger in, rub, rub it around and then I just pop them, pop them and then go to bed or watch TV or whatever. I usually put them in, you know, after I eat dinner Um and, and yeah. Um, I, I did not come with it. Mine did not come with an extractor, which I don't know why, um, but they usually, I guess, are in the case, but mine did not have one. So Byte sent me an extractor and I, like, by the time I got the extractor, I was already used to just sticking my fingers in there and popping them up and popping them out. So it was, like, useless. And then the foam, I really like the whitening foam. Um, the only thing is you do need to put it in over a sink, especially at first. Um, now I just put it in, in my hand and I just pop it in cause I don't, you know, really drool as much, but like I said, I still drool. Um, one thing I did notice though, is that I didn't have a list before <laughs> and I have one now and I watched another video, but it wasn't for bite. It was for a different aligner company. And the lady was talking about how she stopped doing the treatment because her teeth were different and she didn't want her teeth and her bite, like when you bite down and stuff to be different. And I was like, you know, I get it because now I notice when I bite down on stuff that my teeth don't come together like they used to. But at the same time, I've been used to them being out of line and biting together and not so much in line like they were when I had braces. So we'll see how that works out. But, um, overall, I don't regret doing bite <laughs> overall. I don't think it was a bad thing. It hasn't like affected me negatively at all other than like the first bouts of pain. Um, I just wish that they would have been more forthcoming with, with that because I'm like, there's no way that I'm the only person in this world who has been in that much pain. There's just no way. And I was really looking for someone to be like, look, it hurt like a mother. But no one was saying that. So I was like, am I crazy? Like, what is happening? Were my teeth the worst teeth in the world? Like, I don't understand. But like I said, overall, it's it's not as bad. You, you do get used to it. Um, I'm only in the third week. And I will try to keep updated as I move. Probably, I'll probably do another video again when I'm in like the sixth week. Um, but I would recommend it if it's something like that you want to do for yourself. Know that. Like I said, I have a lisp and I notice my tongue is different. When when I have them in, I talk um, a little bit more normal than when I don't have them in. And I don't know why that is. We'll just see what happens. But I do have like a lisp now. I'll be like, oh, and then I... <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know why that's happening. <laughs> it has to, It must have to do something with my bite though. But... Again, I, w I would recommend it, but I just be cautious of the pain. Um, if you don't have pain, congratulations. I'm so glad and I'm so proud of you. <laughs> if you do know that you're not alone, I had a lot of pain, but it did go away. I think the first week was the pain threshold was at like a 25. Um, by like the sixth day, it was probably at like a 15. Um, then by like the seventh day, it was at like a four. Then when I switched into the second week, it stayed like a four. 
And now in the third week, I don't have any pain. It's literally just a little uncomfortable. Other than that, it doesn't hurt. Like, I'm not crying anymore. <laughs> I'm I'm okay with taking them out and eating. And then I just go brush my teeth and put them back in. Um, and everything's fine. So, yeah. That's my bite experience. Um, if you want to follow me, you can subscribe. And I don't have that many videos. But, you know. I might start doing more videos, more and more, who knows. Um, but yeah, so subscribe to my channel. Um, there's a lot of things that I'm working on right now. I have an online beauty salon called roserainbeauty.com, and I am working on a boutique, an online boutique, so you can go shopping. Um, and just a couple other things. I have my production company, Phil413 Productions. And we're doing some things there. And I'm also doing a five-day actor's work challenge. So if you're an actor out there and you are looking for um, something to do for five days from the comfort of your own home that's going to enhance your career, I suggest you take the challenge. All right? Well, that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. And again, subscribe. And I will see you later.